We are a group of young and ambitious friends who share the same passion, building things. We called the rover we built Aleph One. When we heard of the rover challenges for the first time, we instantly fell in love with the idea. Challenging tasks made this kind of competitions both very interesting and attractive. We think the European Rover Challenge is a perfect place for our robot's debut. As a programmers, we often create very abstract things. We can't physically touch the code, we can't physically touch the software. We founded the Rover team to build something tangible and to check ourselves in the new field. We like to use visualizations before we physically make a specific rover component. Every little piece in the rover is documented. Inside wheels we have four wheel DC motors originally designed for electric bikes. We modified them so they can drive rover both directions. We designed and machined plastic rims that to get light and durable mounting of rubber tires. They are 250 watts each, but we use less than 50% of their power. We have four wheel space rocker bogie suspension. It's made of steel and aluminium. The rover is a completely standalone structure. It has its own power supply and it communicates with the base using wireless technologies. We have tested the communication at various ranges at an even terrain. We were able to maintain a stable connection for up to 5 kilometers. For navigation purposes, our rover is equipped with three independent navigation systems that are GPS, GLONASS and Inertial Sensors Unit. For the rover's internal communication we use two networks, CanOpen for engine's drivers and Ethernet for cameras and control. We decided to use CanOpen because of its stability and safety. We've checked many ways of controlling the drivetrain but the simple gamepad turned out to be the most intuitive one. As far as driving is concerned, in addition to extremely powerful engines, our rover BLDC drivers feature complex systems like anti-skid, dynamic power management and overload protection. Our manipulator weighs about 7 kg and has a very wide range of movement. It can touch almost everything what is inside 2 meter sphere. We made the gears with toothed belts to increase torque to over 100 Nm for first axis. The arm is designed to deal with at least 50 newtons force on grasper in any direction. The metal pieces you see were parts of the previous rover's suspension. We've tested our robotic arm in lifting and moving heavy objects. This particular bike weighs about 12 kg. Currently we are building a better grasper. To retrieve a sample from the ground, we are going to use a drill. What you see is a module prototype, we use it for test purposes. The drill and four containers will be attached to the back of the rover. Later we can study the sample with the microscope. The rover is equipped with three video cameras. Apart from the power source, they are a completely independent system. We chose an Ethernet-based solution originally designed for CCTV monitoring. To receive transmission at the base, we are using a dual-polarized directional antenna with 30 dBi gain. With an external 800mm omnidirectional antenna, we can maintain free high-definition streams for distances up to 5 km. 
in our rover there are two emergency buttons. One is located at the rear and the other is at the front. Here is how it works. If there is something dangerous happening, just press one of the buttons. As the result, engines and the robotic arm immediately stop. Sensors and cameras are still working. Switch the button back on when it's safe. Thank <laughs> you.